look at this right here. The guy that goes around policing and calling for censorship and then claims that Trump's wrong, there's no censorship with conservatives or patriots. You are incredibly shameful, man. How are you doing, Alex? You're just a look at you. Look, look a, you are literally an anti American, anti free speech coward. You're going to go down the history books at the Criminal News Network. This is the, one of the main, this is one of the main people right here who thinks you have no memory, who sits there and lobbies. Show him. That sits there and lobbies people to take other news off, <coughs> claiming they're fake when CNN is the fakest WMD, Gulf Arab state uh, dictatorship funded. Unbelievable. Hey, come on over here, Drew. I want, I want to get this guy on tape. <coughs> this is unbelievable. I was literally saying I don't see the criminal news network here, but indeed we do, right there at the front of the line at the trough to try to get in there and, and, and try to shut down conservative libertarian speech. And of course he comes from the loins of Glenn Beck, the king. I mean, look at those eyes, folks. If you want to see the eyes of a rat, the, no, I mean, seriously, just, 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 I mean, look at the camera. Look at those eyes. Look at that slobbering to the system and the criminals at CNN, all their warmongering and death, and all their fake news, and then running around <coughs> trying to police the internet and try to shut people down, and then you think people are so stupid, on CNN a week later you say no one's censoring anybody, no one's pushing for censoring, and then you say that Trump is the one attacking the press, but only does it stand up to your lies. Just look at this guy's eyes, man. That is who will rule your life, him and people like Stelter. That is who want to look at that smile. Alex, Alex. You know, I, I'd say, so I've known Oliver quite a long time. Good to see you again, Oliver. Good to see you, Chuck. Good to see you. You know, he's from Fresno, and he knows better. Because, yeah. you know, in Fresno, we actually believe in free speech. And here he is censoring people and doing it. Policing it. He, he, he's before, the thought police. Before, yeah. That is the thought police. Beforehand, he worked for Greg Beck. And, of course, I, I, I and many other people in the conservative movement helped this guy's <coughs> career along. But now he's decided that now that he works for CNN, he's going to go and try and shut down voices. Look, I mean, he's even more so evil looking than person. So I'm going to think about the decisions that you make. <laughs> Uh, Chris, you don't even respond because we're just scum. You sit up there at CNN with no viewers, no followers. Everyone can't stand you. And no matter, you can shut everyone down on earth. No one will like you. You understand that? You'll never have billions and billions of fans and followers. You'll never have people that love you. Do you have anything else you'd like no, to say, Alex? You, you, don't get, you are a dishonorable liar who would never even dare have me on your little tiny shows when you and Stelter call me a virus. You are a virus to America and freedom. You are authoritarianism. Just look in those eyes. The hunger to silence America, the hunger to extinguish the First Amendment, the hunger to deceive, but he can't do it because the fire of liberty is not going to be knocked out. <coughs> and I want you to know I'm starting to come up here a lot. We're going to be seeing a lot of each other. That's good. Just so you know. Always good to see you. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Oh, no, you don't talk back to mere slaves. You just act calling everybody sponsors to get them to dump you, working with Media Matters and the Nazi collaborator George Soros, All right. smiling like a yeah. possum that climbed out of the rear end of a dead cow. You used that one several times. It's what you look like. You right? need to come up with something. You look like a possum that got caught doing some really nasty stuff, in my view. You're a public figure, too. Probably go to Twitter and say, he's bullying me. I'm only trying to be platform everywhere and celebrating it and then insulting my viewers a week later saying no one's doing it. How dumb do you think your viewers are? You think they have no memory like Dari? From finding Nemo? So you can't respond. All you do is deceive. Your job is to be a disruptor. There's nothing to respond to. This is, this is not a... Are you saying Are you saying the left isn't trying to deplatform conservatives? This, this is not a... I'm not doing an interview with you. Exactly. There you go. Just look at it. Look at that person. Just stare and look at that. He thinks he's going to be an American. He wants to politically mount him. He thinks he can deceive... Oliver Darcy, that, ladies and gentlemen. What was that? Anything to say? No, I have nothing to say to Alex. I, good seeing him here. Yeah, all he wants to do is silence everyone yeah. so he can then lie about it and get away with it. You're broadcasting on Twitter right now, I think, right? We're going on a lot of places. Right. You're being really silenced? Yeah, you've been trying to silence me there. You keep asking why I'm there and then lying about what I said. You're ashamed. It's blown up in your face. It doesn't matter if the New York Times says our viewers are down by half. It's not true. Record traffic and record support which you guys don't have here to be propped up by kingpins and corrupt corporations and foreign Gulf War dictators who launched fake wars in Arab Springs and back ISIS and John McCain and all those other crypt keepers. <coughs> and you and your boss, Glenn Beck, are charlatans and everybody sees right through you. It's been good. No, no. 
We were talking to you about how you hate America and how you hate the First Amendment. <coughs> and how you think people are stupid. This is literally the equivalent of the Stasi. This guy literally goes around <coughs> making stuff up, lying about what people said, and then he's going to deplatform, and then gets up there on TV and goes, you know, Trump may have a point that Google's too powerful. We need to regulate it. That's backing Senator Warner that's threatening Google with censorship if they don't roll over to them and steal the midterms. Hey, I'm part of the establishment. Hey, I finally have people that want me. Hey, I'm like Judas Iscariot. Um, I can't really talk right now. Oh, there he is. Look at the skinny jeans, too. They all love communism, but they got their, you know, thousand dollar phones Sean and just making fun of my all the rest of it. You hate America so much, man, you make me sick. Hey, you ever talk about China? I, I'll talk to you later. You ever talk about China? You ever talk about China and how Apple and Google are all moving over there? Or just how mean I am all day to build straw men? Let me, get a, let me get a good picture. Because you know what you are? You know what you are? You are literally, literally a sociopath. And you think it's funny. You know other people have emotions and care. So you play on it. You must be an incredibly empty person. Empty person? Yeah, you are the definition of a fop. You're the definition of a fraud. You are a charlatan that goes around lying about people to destroy the First I, Amendment. I haven't lied about anyone, Alex. Yes, you are a congenital liar. And CNN is a giant fraud that hated the world over. All right. None of what you're saying is true, but no, yes, I it is. appreciate you, you asking these liar. questions. You think you can gaslight people and call for censorship and then a day later say you aren't? We've got all your statements, we've got everything. We've got you all over the place lobbying to have media taken down. That's not true. Lobbying to shut people down. That's not true. Asking people why they're not shut down. That's not true. Yes, and engaging in all that act. It's all, all true. This, we have all the clips of you saying. Okay. Listen, everybody knows who you are. Look at you. You and Stelter get force fed by Twitter, and you get like a hundred retweets. Because CNN's a joke. CNN's like government cheese. It literally is just force fed to everyone everywhere. Everyone's sick of it. It's force fed in public schools. It's force fed in, 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 in bars and hotels, making you sit there and watch it. Sandy Hook, is it, do they watch Oh yeah, oh yeah, they sure do. Just like, just like they lied about babies in incubators and the uh, WMDs and the kill a million people. And just like the public doesn't like to question things. And then, and then you got the New York Times lying about WMDs. Oh, the New York Times lying about WMDs that kill millions. But you don't really care about kids. You care about your fake moral high ground. And gun owners are sick of being blamed for what other people on Prozac do who get guns illegally. So that's all you got. And you're going to fail, just like Hillary failed. We're going to win these midterms. We're going to take this country back. And all you people that have an inferiority complex and think if you can take the greatness of America and dominate it, that you might actually be somebody because you project your own loathing for yourself onto everybody else. I'm a winner. I love myself. I love who I come from. Victory and strength and honor. You are the definition of dishonor. And one day in the Encyclopedia Britannica, Encyclopedia Galactica, it will have your face next to dishonor and the word rat. What do you hope to accomplish here? I'm just showing people just the servile nature of the bottom of the barrel these dying news corporations have to dredge up from the front lines to attack the First Amendment. Right. You're the equivalent of like the, in my so, view, so you, you're the equivalent of like the Hitler youth being put on the front line to stop the advance of the Allies. So you came here to attack the media? <clears throat> you're not the media. You are fake news. You are the criminal news network. You, you engage in racketeering trying to shut down real news and real information. You engage in lying to fraud to your audience on a premeditated, continual basis. You got some damn evil eyes, son. Look at it. Want to say something, Harrison? Look at those eyes right there. 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 That's what wants to run your life, folks. And if you don't start running your life, he's going to run it. He already thinks he's got scouts. He's one of the main progenitors. And this whole operation, you don't think we don't know about Obama's countering disinformation and propaganda act? You don't think all that's going to come out who's funding this? And, and, and your little ID card and all the rest of it? You think we're stupid? You think, uh, you think we're playing games, huh? Think we don't know a thing or two, son?